hi guys welcome again how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing good thanks for tuning in again today and thanks for watching if you see my face for the first time my name is cheesy and today we are going to talk about simple ways to maintain your vagina hygiene i have created videos on this but i still get a lot of people asking me please sis how do i take care of the boys on my woman and not smell a very offensive odor now i'm going to give you my general opinion on how you can maintain a healthy woman and prevent those boys and odor happening again on your woman number one thing is the boy there are lots of reasons why we get boy on our woman one could be you're using the wrong shaving blade too could be infection as well so all you have to do is just check it on and know which one it is the reason why you've got this you just have to understand the cost of your boy before you can follow every other remedy because these things tend to be different from each other and when you use the wrong treatment and that's where you're gonna get yourself into a bigger problem than it wasn't also I advise that you shave at night this is simply because when you shave at night, you go to bed, you tend to wear loose wear and do not wear any pant to sleep when you shave at night. It's best to wear loose wear so that air can go in and out and the body will heal by the next day you go out. If you do this, it tends to reduce the rashes and the itchiness around your private area whenever you shave. That's the best thing to keep it away from loss of boy or any discomfort after shaving. I will advise you to try to look for good shaving stick. The one I recommended was the blade with four blade and five blade. Venus blade is one of the amazing one as well that you can get in any drugstore shop as well. I'm also going to you know, find the link and leave it on the description box. I had another blade that I had a collaboration done with as well. These blades, why I do love them is they have like a gel on it which makes it soft and tender when you are shaving your vjj and as well your body as well you can even shave with this blade without using any shaving cream because of the gel there it's trying to make it go smooth and soft to your skin and do not cut deep into your skin so if you are using a blade with two blades three blades that could be the reason why you are getting boys there and then if every other boys i know some of them tend to be that big and have whitish pores on it as well i always recommend not to touch it nor even press it just leave it there to dry off and then which will also take me to the next remedy is nothing but to having your vjj steam bath i've done a video on my vagina routine as well i'm going to leave the link on the description box so that you can see the steps and the routine that I use on doing that if you do not really trust it because I heard so many people say oh no 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 I don't think I can do that I can mix lemon with warm water and do that helps as well with the boy or your woman and as well keep your vagina healthy and also smell good as well if you don't want to go through that path you soak in the bath at home in the shower just use the bath at home make sure once in a while you just put your woman inside the bath in the warm water and sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes before you come out that does really help the woman a lot sometimes when you do that using my herbs as well that i use to steam my woman you can get some discharge but if it continues and have offensive smell that means you need to go and see your doctors and your professionals i also recommend that if you have already been diagnosed to have vagina infection steaming is the wrong thing to do please treat the treat your infection first before you can now do the steaming to maintain a healthy vagina next is to include yogurt and in your diet yogurt helps to introduce healthy bacteria on your body and around your vagina i know also there are some supplements which is known to be probiotics as well which helps the vagina as well to keep it healthy and balance the ph level which the yogurt also do i have a couple of them that i tried and used as well that also i can advise you to incorporate with your diet as well eating cranberry fruits or juice or as well get the supplements that helps to keep and maintain your vagina looking healthy and very 
good smell again it is also said that you can apply the greek yogurt on your vagina mostly when you have yeast infection that also helps as well to take care of that as well you only have to apply it around the area and leave it there for 10 minutes and then wash it off make sure you're using the organic one and please it's very important can natural handmade yogurts are the ones advisable to use on your vagina if you suspected you have a yeast infection on your vagina next is change of part regularly please my darling when you have your part on even if the heavy flow or less flow try to at least have your parts change two times a day minimum but you can go more than that depending on your flow once a day is not advising having your part all day 24 hours can lead to so many things that will be a worry to you in future so i advise you change your part regularly to keep your vagina in a healthy and a very sweet smelling state next is your underwear i know now in the market we have a lot of sexy underwears that we wear to feel more good for ourselves and our body and everything listen i got some i'm not going to lie but this is only for display okay it's not a routine nor a habit for me i encourage that you wear more of the cutting underwears even wearing tight often as well and when there is no much air going out of that place that tend to make it be unhealthy smell so ensure that you're wearing a cutty pants cutting underwears cutting trousers and air and breezy outfit as well even at night i always say the best place the best way to go to bed is wearing a dress without any underwear but some people have the reasons why they still put underwear to bed but when you start getting that offensive smell and feeling that uncomfortability and itchiness around your vagina, I would advise you to try this and let the air breathe, mostly when you are in bed. Next is the use of scented soap. In the market, there's a lot of feminine wash in the market. People say it's good to be used to balance your pH levels, pH levels a lot more. I would advise you to please check well before you lay your hands on any of the feminine washes and again even if you do not know and you start noticing difference on your woman please stop it no matter what influencers tell you how amazing it is everybody is different our bodies are different so stay away from scented feminine wash they are not good for you all the whole thing with the chemical wash and all the rest you need to be careful the ones that you select in the market it's very important be mindful what you use to wash your woman it is very important rather use water i keep saying it water is the best the vagina has a cleaning um self-cleaning itself we don't need to clean it all you have to do is just wash around it and that's it because we go to toilet and we we will poo poo so there might be and we sweat around it as well so that's why we even have to make effort to clean around it it is a self-cleaning area so it cleans automatically and it is the cleanest part of our body if it is well managed and well looked after the last one is vagina exercise did you know that there was a vagina exercise i'm going to insert the link to the vagina exercise that i started doing now i do not used to do it i'm not going to lie but i saw it on youtube and i tried it i find it very fun and I'm doing it as well to help my woman to stay healthy. And that is it for today. Let me know in the comment section any of the tips that you use to maintain a healthy vagina area. I would love to know in the comment section. And if you love this video.